So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzuolo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm actually going to do a video that I normally don't do. I don't do videos on custom visuals. Um, I don't use custom visuals that much, to be honest. I I use some of the Microsoft developed ones. Um, privacy issues or concerns, basically, because I don't know if there's any privacy issue with the visuals. Um, but uh, just because I'm not sure, I don't use them. And uh, also, I'm, I still have a feeling that they might break with all these Power BI desktop updates. I, probably they don't either, I don't know. But uh, due to these things, I don't use custom visuals a lot. So you might be wondering why I'm doing these. And this is actually something that you asked me to do, if I could do a video on these... Uh, networking graphs or visuals that have been popping up in the store and um, I've been a little bit curious about them but um, you know I normally don't use visuals that you can't understand right away and this is a visual that is not super intuitive at all so if you're planning to use it, use it with caution. I think it needs uh, explanations, definitely, if somebody's going to use them. And perhaps you can use it for an analytics uh, report. Uh, so don't just put it anywhere where your users won't understand it. It won't make any sense. But um, I was playing with it uh, together with the um, Northwind dataset that I always use for the demos. And I thought it was quite neat. Not sure yet, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you what I've been doing and maybe... Yeah, I would love to hear what you think about it, actually. I, I haven't decided yet if this is something that would be useful for normal users. Definitely for more experienced ones, because there are some neat things in there. But let me show you. Let, let's go back, let's go to Power BI and I'll show you what I've been playing with. Okay, so here I'm, I am in Power BI and uh, I've, I have a head start, as you see, I've done a few things, but not much actually. I've uh, downloaded the um, visual called Network Navigator and this is a uh, Microsoft developed visual. You just go to the store and I actually wrote Network and this is the first one that shows up. Um, it says, let's to explore node link data, panning and zooming, uh, use text search to enlarge matching nodes in ways that guide. Oh, I haven't done that, <laughs> actually. Nodes will be color based on attributes of the data set. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yes. I actually downloaded it, oh, so you can search there. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that at all. Uh, anyhow, and um, I used the North Wind dataset that I always use, so you will be able to download this file, don't worry. And um, I have here some filters. I have country, this is a country for the customers available on this data set. So I have customers and their country of origin. I have a, a set of products that are on the product table and I have uh, their categories. And then I have the company name of the customer. Okay. And the way I've created these is I put as the source node, the country, and then I put uh, the product name as a target node. And then to be able to differ differentiate this, because let me remove this. If I if you don't color them, remove that one. I, I perhaps remove them all <laughs> and show you how I did it. So when you put country and product name, this is what you see. And because you're not seeing any difference between all the nodes, it makes no sense, right? So I actually created a color column manually. So I said, I want all the customers color by this color. It's like a light green or something. Nothing strange there. 
So I have that color and I put it into source node color because suddenly now I can see which ones are countries and which ones are um, products. And this I haven't tested actually. If I write Sweden. I, I'm guessing this is my Sweden node. Yeah, so this is what I realized. If you click on one of these things, red ca caviar, and you go to the product, red caviar, oh, this is Swedish, you will actually see, um, it will filter up here, which is quite neat actually. Uh, and then you can just select it in there, and then you will see which countries actually are buying the red caviar. So easy, right? If you are interested in any other node, I don't know, we pick one. Then if you don't know what it is, just open this and then it will show you up here. Gumbo mix. And then suddenly you can see which countries are buying that product. That's quite neat, right? And then I just started to play. I love to tell stories with data. And I said, okay, we have actually, if we go back here, a, a discontinued a tag on our product table. So I said, okay, so how about we colored the target, which are the products, by the discontinued tag. And then we zoom out. It's just, you know, you scroll up and down with your mouse. And then you can see how many products have discontinued on this table. It's quite cool. And then you can again go to that one and then because it is a product it will be filtered here and then when you choose it you can see which products or which countries are buying that discontinued product and you can actually if you go to the order details and put quantity into source node weight you will you know the circles will be how much they're buying so that is Switzerland. This is the one that is buying most of these pasties. Gorgeous. So if I remove it, remove it there, then now I can see quantities. So what are, which countries are buying most of our products? So I can see Germany and I can see the products that are buying, including our discontinued products. And I can also put, let me show you this. It's actually quite neat. I, I kind of like this, actually. If I put quantity into the target node weight, you'll see how much of those products are being sold. So there are not the most sold. Perhaps this one is the most sold. I don't know, which is raclette. <laughs> this is a French product. And so this is our product. This is when things get a little bit messy. I don't know if I can do anything about it. Default label color. Okay, so that might help a little bit so it doesn't blend out. Um, phone size, etched color. I don't know if it did anything. Okay, perhaps there's no point in you watching me test this, but I think it's actually quite cool because you have quite much flexibility to play with your data, which is always a good thing. Uh, so, if you don't want the countries there, you can put your customers or you can put absolutely anything you like. I thought that countries was a little bit more relevant, especially because I don't know this data set. But if you do know your data set, perhaps your company name, and then it would be cool so you could see uh, also which countries they belong to. Uh, I, I do prefer actually have a country in there. 
makes more sense to me. And now you can see super clear that Germany is the pro the country that sales most products. Here we have lovely Sweden, Ireland, UK. And then you can again pick one of these nodes and say, you can actually go here instead of having quantity for the target, you could have unit price. And then you will see uh, the prices for your products. So you can see, for example, this is the most expensive product that you have in your data set. It's not, you know, some of the big ticket items have been dis uh, discontinued. It's a black ball. And this is this, I don't know if this is cheese, maybe? No idea. A lot of cheese. <laughs> is it? No, it's a beverage. Oh, okay. Sorry, France. Um, anyhow, so now you can see which countries are buying that specific product, okay? So, I don't know. Of course, if you present this without any explanation, it would make absolutely no sense to anybody. But there's something neat about it, just the, the, the amount of dimensions uh, that you have a possibility to play with your data is is worth something. But anyhow, I, I would I mean it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you used it? Uh, what are you using it for? Do you like it? What does your customers think of it uh, or your users? Um, I think it would be great. And if you have a link to a blog where they explain more about this, I would love to read more about it so let me know uh, i know that we're all on some occasion so if you have the time just let me know it would be great yeah so this is all for today i apologize for the uh, not explicit video but i just got curious and then when i started to play with it i thought there was something in it and hopefully you think that too and if you have any tips and tricks, just let me know in the comment box and I can do a new video if needed. If you um, think that it should be good for me to show any other tricks uh, regarding those visuals. If you enjoyed the video, as always, uh, let me know by liking it or by sharing it. If you're new to the channel, Mondays it is M videos, Wednesdays are for Power BI and Fridays are for DAX. So three times a week I publish videos, except when I'm on vacation like now, that I might publish a little bit less, but otherwise three times a week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos and click the bell to receive notifications, because otherwise you won't when I publish a new video in case you want to follow me week by week or day by day. But uh, this is all for today, so have a great uh, Wednesday and uh, speak to you soon. Bye!